On the holy day of obligation, prayers and hymns of praise echo through the neighborhood. In this predominantly Hispanic parish, Catholics have a great devotion to the Blessed Mother. God gave us his mother and um, we honor her ascensions that we know that she's with a, the with a son and she's looking after us. Gathering in St. Leo's parking lot, parishioners pray the rosary in front of the church's Marian shrine. Grasping their religious beads, the faithful pray the glorious mysteries, which mentions the assumption. We all do together. It's like a, a big ball of flowers. <laughs> <laughs> with different different colors. And during each Hail Mary, a flower is placed in front of the sacred statue. She's my friend, my mother, oh my God. My family, I have three children, yes, my God. They believe it and they pray the rosary every day. The singing and praying continues in the church, where over 20 men and women wearing white receive blue sashes and are sprinkled with holy water. They're called the Sinacolo, a monthly prayer group devoted to promoting vocations to the priesthood, religious life, diaconate, and married life. St. Leo's pastor, Father William Hoppe, hopes they will encourage children to hear God's call, particularly those from the parish's active Hornada youth group. Having so many young people get excited about prayer and excited about uh, serving the church, vocations will flower. Coinciding with Bishop DiMarzio's year of vocations, these Catholics have faith vocations will stem from their prayers and blossom the future of the church. Reporting for Currents from Corona, Queens, I'm Tim Harfman.